Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza here. My mouth is full of Warheads Chewy Cubes. And welcome back to Let's Play some more Gran Turismo 3, the Ultimate Driving Simulator. I fucking love these things, man, but they are such trouble. Like, I've been biting into these, and they're starting to make my teeth hurt. Would not be surprised at all if I got a cavity from eating these. There's, oh, god damn it. Dude, you can't be doing that to me right now. <laughs> I thought we were going to have a nice easy jaunt tonight. I didn't know what track we were doing. And now we're stuck on Deep Forest. Fuck me. Well, if there was going to be one moment in this where we were going to lose, it's going to be here. It's going to be here. Would not be surprised. One iota. One sliver slice of mutant pizza. That there's no way in hell that we come out on top in this thing. No fucking way. <clears throat> We've had so many close calls here. And having 10 laps, nonetheless, where these cars can just wreak havoc on me the whole time. I just, I do not see a situation where this comes out positively for me. The only thing that's going to save my skin, if there's going to be a moment at all, is going to be ultimately whenever somebody's got to go and, and take a pit stop. That will be my only saving grace that I will have. And I don't know... The problem is, though, is that... You know, if we're not... If we don't get pole position... And we don't jump out to a lead, you know, right away... We're gonna be in deep shit. And I mean... Super deep shit. Because... I mean, you think about it... We're gonna... If, if we start in, like... Say, fourth or something like that... And... You know, we can't catch up to the pack... I'm gonna have to bank on the idea that all three cars in front of me are all magically going to hit the pits on, you know, laps, you know, eight, nine, and, and potentially ten. Yeah, and that's the car I'm worried about, too, is that fucking red and white one. I never remember what car that is. I think it's the GT1. And he's the one. He is the one that I am extremely concerned about. I gotta be... I gotta have, like, a perfect run here in order to even have a shot at it. And that's probably going to derail it right there. That was not a good section. That was not a good stretch of road. We're going to be okay, though. I am I am trying valiantly right now. P.S. P.S. I don't... And I, I feel like I've told you guys the story already, but maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. I got to try... Um, I, I played a little bit of Gran Turismo Sport the other night when I was uh, playing on my laptop on uh, my PS4 remote play. A uh, little deal, because I didn't want to be in the office that night. And I, I had the game, and I was like, you know what? I just want I want to give it a try and see see what it's like. And I tried it, and holy shit, the game's so much fun. By the way, I absolutely adored it. I, I did one race. Oh, come on, baby, what do you got for me? What do you got for me? Oh, oh, damn it! What do we got? Second, third, second place. Okay, that's fine. I'll take that. GT1, huh? You're gonna be you're gonna be the guy. I want to be the guy. That was a game, wasn't it? I think it was one of those, like, super mega death games. I want to be the guy where you just die a billion times and you got to memorize patterns and stuff. I think that was a thing. Um, but I played it, and the game is so much fun. It's so wildly different, though, from what this is like. No! No! God damn it! You gotta be fucking kidding me with that. We literally put ourselves right behind the eight ball within 30 seconds. 30 seconds of the very first lap and we're already in this situation. Literally the last place that I wanted to be. And we're already here. I mean, I was, I was gonna try my fucking damnedest to keep ourselves in the game, but now we're already gonna be like, we're probably already five, five or six seconds behind. And there's no way we're not at this point. Give me five, give me six, give me seven, why don't you? It's probably going to be that bad. Six seconds, there it is. We've, we've already hit that point. That's just fucking gorgeous. You get to spend the entire thing just trying to catch up to that. 
I mean, he's already gone. I mean, look at that. That is just a nightmare. He is, he is out of here already. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is not good. Anywho. So I got to try it. Dude, the game is just so much different than this in, like, every aspect. Like, I could not drive the way that I had been driving in that game and get away with it. it the, the, the way the game controls is so much more... It's so much more touchy, you know? Which, probably more realistic, I'm going to imagine. I mean, it's just, uh, like, you can't you can't stop on a dime the way that you do in this game. Now, this game, there's a lot of situations where you can you can do some... Some uh, some braking exercises that I don't think are are feasibly possible by any stretch of the imagination. Yet we're pulling it off anyways. Um, but oh, the game the game is absolutely beautiful though. It's so awesome. The tracks that I played on I don't even recognize half of them. Uh, I only did I only did one race, but I was kind of looking through what they allowed you you know the different selections available. And a lot of those courses I've never even fucking even seen them before. It was weird. It's so not as many cars from what I understand. Uh, I kind of went through some of the manufacturers and I didn't see nearly as many cars available. But a lot of them are cars like this. Like, they're all kind of like, you know, racing edition cars. So. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. There we go. Okay, we're all right. Um, but it was good. The, the one thing that really got me was that the game has a leveling system. That, that was something that was not what I was expecting at all. I did not expect to play a Gran Turismo game that is implementing things like experience points and a, and a leveling system. That was kind of cool. That's a very welcome change. Um, it just It kind of it gives you a bigger sense of, of progress, you know? The other thing that was kind of weird to me is that the majority of this game is played online. Like, they do have offline things, like driving school and all that, but I guess the majority of the of what you're doing is just racing against other actual players. So that's also a very cool thing. I'm super down with it. Uh, I, I like the idea of actually playing against other live people the majority of the time. Um, but you can also do, you know, like arcade mode races, you know, offline. I think there are some challenges that you can do alongside that. Um, just to help hone your skills and such and you can choose the difficulty of the race and you you know get Certain amounts of money and other things, you know that coincide with that. So it's it's super cool I, I really like what they've done with the place Okay, this is not good. I mean it's it's good that we're in you know in third and second and such But if that guy doesn't you know take a fucking chill pill at some point and go take a breather we're gonna be up shit creek with no paddle and a gaggle a gaggle of fucking heartburn I'm not down with that okay we should probably stop driving in the fucking grass like an idiot jeez i am struggling right now i'm i'm trying to do way too many little shortcut things right now and it's it's backfiring mightily at this point um but yeah dude it's great i i i'm just about ready to start playing it on this channel i'm i'm making some final preparations and we'll, we'll be just about ready to go here soon but um, another another quick thing that I'd like to bring up since it's it's in my it's in my mind lately is I've been getting back into listening to you know gaming music a lot lately I'll go through stints where that's just like the only thing I want to listen to is just you know stuff from retro video game soundtracks like you know Batman for NES or you know San Francisco Rush or, you know, like Max Payne, or even, you know, things like uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, or, uh, oh, good, things like Top Gear, and, yeah, you, I mean, you get where I'm going. I just, I, I I'm, I am a huge fan of, of gaming music, and, uh, I've been uploading uh, music onto my uh, alternative channel that I opened up a long time ago. For those of you that don't know, I, I made, like, a little auxiliary channel for, uh, for some gaming music stuff called uh, VGM Classics, or THE VGM Classics. Because there used to be a unit that I did on this channel back in its infancy, where, like, once a week, I, I did a little unit called VGM Classics, where I just take one, uh, one, you know, piece of gaming music from, you know, various eras that I really liked, and I'd upload it. And it would just, it would just be there. It was kind of like a, just a cool little break in the action that I liked taking part in. And, uh, you know, just 
I just wanted people to be like, be like, hey, this is a piece of music that I like from gaming, and I hope that you guys like it too. And if you've never heard it before, then maybe it'll turn you on to that game. And uh, but when I got my partnership with TGN uh, many years back. Uh, they told me that I could no longer do that unit on my channel, otherwise, um, you know, they couldn't monetize them, and, you know, there's a possibility that there'd be, like, copyright strikes, and so they made me stop doing it. I was really bummed out by that, and so I decided, I was like, you know, I, I don't want to stop doing this altogether, so I'll just open up another channel where I can do those things, and I can just, you know, not worry about having partnership on it, I just want to be able to upload them just for the sake of having fun with it. And so, but I was like, but instead of just doing, you know, one piece at a time, I'll just upload entire gaming soundtracks instead. That way people can just listen to the, to whatever part they wanted to, because I'm sure, there, I mean, there's a lot of games that have a billion great selections in them, like, uh, like Mega Man. Oh my god, he went in! Oh my god, he went in! Oh yes! You done fucked up, baby! You done fucked up now! Oh yes. Oh, this is good. Um, but... Yeah, dude, it was, it's, it's like, you know, I mean, there's games like Mega Man and, you know, Super Mario and, you know, like Mario Kart, there's, and like Cruising USA and like all these different games that have a whole bunch of, of great selections on them that, you know, I was like, I don't want people to have to wait, you know, many, many weeks to be able to, you know, maybe get back to the one that they liked. I'll just upload them all. And so I started doing that. And then, for a good, like, three or four years, I just totally stopped doing it. I, I kind of forgot what my account information was and, and all that stuff. And then, just recently, I was like, you know what? I want to jump back into it. I want to I want to see if I can remember all my info. And I want to... I had a couple of things that had just been in my head. And I was like, if I can remember my way into this thing, I want to upload some more stuff to the channel. And it worked, actually. I, I remembered what all my shit was, and I jumped in there, and I was like, let's fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a bunch of soundtracks in mind. I'll download the entire thing and I'll start throwing them up. So, just you know, long story short, I I uploaded a whole bunch of things on there recently. And so, if you guys want to go check them out, you can totally do that. It's name of the channel is the VGM Classics, and I just put up uh, Batman from NES. I put up Cruising USA. I put up uh, San Francisco Rush 2049, and I put up Top Gear. So, I did a number of things. I'm in the process of doing Mega Man 2 and 3 right now, uh, Top Gear 2, um, just a bunch of other things. But while I was, you know, while I'm sitting there doing, especially Batman from NES, this is the one that kind of triggered this in my mind, was composers for gaming music back then were fucking amazing. The things that they could do with, with gaming music with such, you know, limited you know, resources and, and, and hardware limitations and all that is absolutely astonishing. Like, it blows my mind what they were able to pull off. Like, go go uh, go and listen to, like, Stage 1 from Batman on, on NES or, like, anything from Blaster Master or just, you know, other classic things like, uh, you know, like the soundtrack from Gradius 3 for Super Nintendo or... You know, things like Final Fantasy, or just like Super Mario, all that stuff, like... The fact they were able to make some of those songs so, like, elaborate and intricate as they did with such, you know, pr like, primitive, by comparison today at least, like, with such primitive hardware, just fucking blows my mind. Like, the way that they could do so many different, you know, things all at once, it was just, ah, oh, it's so cool. I, I love it. I... I it's that it just it reminds me of in in a lot of cases like not to take anything away from oh my god okay Whew, that scared me not to take anything away from how incredibly advanced gaming is today like there's so many advancements that have been made in so many ways where games are so incredibly interactive and such and visually they're amazing but a lot of games now really suffer from not you know, they suffer from not having very good soundtracks, or in some cases, they don't have them at all. Um, and that was a huge strength of gaming back then, was that a lot of games had, you you know, you had to have a really good soundtrack if, if you wanted to help, you know, bring people in. Like, imagine, imagine how much, I feel like, at least this is my opinion, imagine how much less fun games like Mega Man, Super Mario, things like Mario Kart, and, uh, and... Oh god, and things like Legend of Zelda, like, imagine what those types of games, like, how much less fun they would be if they didn't have good music. 
or if they didn't have any music at all. Like, imagine, imagine how much, you know, less fun it would be. Like, for me, when I, when I was growing up, um, playing games, you know, like, uh, like Mock Rider for NES and Batman, Blaster Master, uh, Top Gear, Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, Donkey Kong Country 2. Like, those were games that I, I always found myself playing them more and more often because there was like a certain part in the game that I wanted to get to that level or that area or that boss fight or whatever it was just so I could hear that piece of music. Like I, I did that time and time again, um, especially with uh, especially with Batman because one my favorite piece out of that is for stage four, the uh, laboratory ruins. It's one of my favorite PC, uh, P PCs, it's one of my favorite pieces of gaming music, period. It's just, ah, uh, oh, it's, it's awesome. And so I would I would always pick up that game and I'd put it in and I'd play it and I'd just try my fucking damnedest to get there because that game's hard. <laughs> and I just I just wanted to get there so bad just so I could listen to it. And uh, I don't know, it just, it just reminds me of a better time in gaming, but I just, I had, I just kind of had like a weird appreciation moment for it uh, the other, over the last week while I've been, you know, downloading all these, you know, gaming music pieces. And just kind of, I don't know, I was just kind of having one of those, wow, this is super fucking cool. Uh, just for what they were able to do. I can't believe we won that, by the way. I mean, obviously, it was kind of gift wrapped to us because the GT1 just threw his trophy in the fucking garbage so that we could have it. <laughs> but I'll take it. Um, but yeah, so that's just kind of what I was thinking about. Gaming music is cool. I need to stop eating those while I'm filming. <laughs> it takes so much effort to chew them and, like, ungum them from my teeth. It's, it's not a good idea. All right, guys. Well, we are going to stop right here. When we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Gran Turismo 3, the ultimate driving simulator, we're going to move on to race number six. I think that there were only seven in this tournament, so we're almost there. And we came through on this one scot-free, so I'm pretty cool with that. So hopefully you guys will come uh, you guys will come back for the next one until then my friends this is your host lovely cheese pizza saying thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time bye have a good one go listen to some gaming music